I think this movie is possibly the movie that ignited my thirst for thrillers. Hello, welcome. Oh, I can't, I can't look up that way. Okay, glasses glare. Let me. I keep having a glare from that, so I'm gonna get out this thing. Oh, I think it fixed the glare. Okay. All right. What's I think? Hello. Welcome. I'm Hannah. I have a passion for movies and I love YouTube and I love watching people's reactions to movies. And that is why I created this channel. So if you're new here, I watch and react to movies I've never seen before. And the goal is to have fun together and experience it together. The video is of course edited for copyright. Today's movie, it, it's still edited for copyright, but today's movie is the first rewatch movie on this channel. So here's the reaction timestamp. If you want to jump straight to that, I'm just going to share the story of how this movie impacted me so profoundly and affected how I would forever experience movies. Hello, Dr. Spencer. Walker. First off, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for all of your suggestions in my last video. I'm still trying to find my groove doing this awesome YouTube thing and doing it inside of my unique parameters has been a continual and challenging learning experience. So I appreciate any helpful any helpful suggestions you've given. Thank you, Nick Kanjemi. I have no idea if I'm saying your name right. How you'd suggest it reacting to a movie that I've already seen that brings out my passion. I mean, what rewatching a movie is not a new idea to me like we've all seen reactors you know rewatch lots of movies but it was never an idea that really felt like something that i wanted to do um until so nick you said you could try reacting to movies you've already seen before that you know bring out your passion and offering deeper insights into the movie and explain to us why it brings you so much joy um and when i read that immediately this movie popped in my head and all of a sudden, this just felt like a marvelous idea. So, yeah, so thank you. So this movie. This movie came out when I was 10, which was around the time that I was beginning to discover my passion for movies, for acting, and directing, and all things movie making, and just movies and how they made me feel. So the timing of when this came out is probably connected to why it had such a profound impact on me. I don't know for you guys if this is a movie you'd really even remember or would have much to say on, but for me, this movie was one of the first ones. So before this movie came out, I already knew and had a crush on Macaulay Culkin. I mean, Home Alone, that's a special place in all of our hearts, right? 
But for me, when Home Alone came out, I was the same age as Macaulay Culkin. In fact, I was a teensy bit younger and I just had the biggest crush on him. So for three years, which is a long time in a child's life, I crushed on Macaulay Culkin. I crushed on him from Home Alone. Hello. And my girl. She's my best friend. I think I'd seen Uncle Buck at that time. So when I saw the previews for The Good Son, seeing Macaulay Culkin be serious like that, it stopped me in my tracks and it made me feel like, whoa. And side note, no, the reason that this movie had an impact on me is not because I had a crush on the two lead actors at the time. But it definitely, that definitely played a, that was definitely a factor in why this movie grabbed my attention. And it definitely enhanced my experience watching this movie. Because yes, obviously I had a crush on Elijah Wood too. I mean, obviously. I always loved him and Huck Finn. What would they want more for? Style. It's a priest before king. You got to have lots of style going on. I watched that movie so many times growing up and I would watch him and I would just, I would be amazed at what a good actor he was. Like even as a little kid, I had so much respect for him as an actor um, and I wanted to be acting and I would watch his movies and I would not just enjoy his movies, but I would study him as an actor. As far as Macaulay Culkin's acting, this is it. Don't get scared now. His acting never grabbed my attention until The Good Son. Ow. It's an ongoing debate with me of whether or not I already knew Elijah Wood or if this was my introduction to him. Um, but I feel like I already knew him because I feel like I remember watching the previews, which blew me away. And I feel like I remember feeling like, whoa both of them but it's it's possible i'm remembering that part wrong and maybe this was my introduction to elijah wood but i don't think i'm wrong i i really feel like that's how it went down but i know i'm right about mccoy culkin so fun fact that i kind of already mentioned i had a crush on elijah wood and mccoy culkin they were two of my celebrity crushes i had posters of them in my room not so much posters as magazine pages i cut out but you know same thing I remember reading an article on Elijah Wood and how he wanted to direct, which I also wanted to. And the fact that he and Macaulay Culkin were acting in movies, which is what I wanted to be doing. And especially after The Good Son impacted me in my own fun little way, it always kind of felt like I grew up with him. I want to show you something real quick. So I don't know where I got the idea for these. I started making these when I was around nine or 10 and stopped making them after a couple of years. Got JTT. So I would take magazines and find a picture. We got McCoy Culkin. So what I would do, I would take the magazine a picture that I liked. It was usually actors or movies. I mean, it could be anything, but it was 90% of them were actors and movies or actresses. I would take the magazine page, the picture that I wanted, I would rip it out and I would fold it to where I only saw the picture. And then I would laminate it with scotch tape and then I would just cherish it. So I'm gonna show you these real quick. So I got Macaulay Culkin, JTT, got Jim Carrey, True Lies, which I love that movie. Got Gene Wilder, which I never saw that show, but I loved, I've always loved Gene Wilder. We got more JTT. We got OJ Simpson, which I didn't know who he was, I just thought that was a cool picture. <laughs> Mac ah. Slippery. Macaulay Culkin from Richie Rich. Kevin Costner, Forrest Gump, Green, that's one of my movies, The River Wild, which for a time was my favorite movie, a brief time, but it was for a time it was my favorite movie. Let's see what else we got? We have a lion, we have Mona Lisa Underwater, Bill Murray, John Candy, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna find some, hopefully I have, I would think I have Friends. Before I was allowed to watch Friends, I was filtered on what I could and couldn't watch. Wonder Years, I think a ukulele. The Client, that's one of the movies that had an impact on me. Uh. Susan Sarandon from The Client. Oh, this was, I think, McCoy Culkin and Richie Rich, I think. 
Surely, we got ER, which I never watched. Surely I have Kevin Costner. Surely I have uh, Elijah Wood, Harrison Ford, Julia Roberts, Nickelodeon card. Oh, Macaulay Culkin. Julia Roberts. I don't have any of Elijah Wood. Oh, well, that's that. June 6, 1995. I guess that's when I made some of these all right well no elijah wood well i know for sure i had elijah wood uh pictures on my wall i guess i just didn't make any of these thingies I definitely still keep these because when i take them out and just feel them it just i remember how much i cherished them and it was one of my many creative ways of um, you know i have i've always had all this passion for movies and um this creativity and so making these was one of my little outlets for it. Okay, finishing up on the good sign, and then we'll watch it. So I remember watching the preview for this and feeling this adrenaline and excitement. If I let you go, you think you could fly? And then I remember watching the movie and being so thrilled, so on the edge of my seat, heart racing, curiosity was just peaked. And I really think that that experience is what set the stage for what would become or what became my favorite genre, which is thriller. Crazy thing is, this is one of those movies that had a huge impact on me, but it's not one of those movies that I've seen many times. Like that movie, which is at the center of my heart and was maybe the first one. I've seen that so many times I can quote. With this place. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Something they could see and touch. But The Good Son, I think I've only seen like two or three times. Like, so I watched it when it came out and when we rented it, I likely watched it multiple times as one did when you rent it VHS movies. And then I don't think I ever watched it again until I think it was about last year. Yet it had such an impact on me that I have always carried it with me. I've always remembered so much of it with clarity. And more importantly, I remember how it made me feel. If I could have read the future and known I was going to rewatch it on this channel, I would have weighed it because it would have been way cooler to watch rewatch it for the first time on this channel. Uh, but, you know, I couldn't read the future. I will say this, that I had a migraine when I rewatched it, so I don't know if you know much about migraines, but they make it hard to focus at all. So it doesn't feel like I watched it a year ago. It feels like I haven't seen it in years, so I'm pretty excited to watch it. And I'll just say one more thing. If I had to narrow it down to just two movies that have had a profound impact on me, like the two that, when I think of all the movies that impacted me the most, the, the two that stand out the most, I'd probably have to say Jurassic Park and The Good Son, with the way that they impacted me. I'm pretty excited to watch this. All right, let's watch the movie. All right, we're pulling it up. <clears throat> let's hope I don't run into tech you shoes for... One of my favorite movies. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's crazy. When I think favorite movies, actually, I don't know if this comes to mind as like one of my favorite movies, even though it's definitely, it is one of my, it is in my, I had to have, I had, okay. When I think favorite movies, it, this doesn't really pop up as much as, when I think of movies that had a profound impact on me, this pops up. 
Um, but as far as favorite movies, I don't, that's weird. I don't know if this really comes to mind. I mean, Jurassic Park does for sure. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Working. Uh... Are the tech gods going to let me have a movie reaction with no tech issues? Yes! 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 All right, so we're recording, recording. All right, I'm a good son. I wonder too, I'm excited to see. Oh, there it is. Huh? Now what? I didn't have to have a subscription when I looked at this yesterday. There we go. Okay. Make it full screen. Ah, the good sun. Oh, I'm excited to see how it makes me feel now. And will I feel like it held up now? Like if I was to watch this for the first time now, would I still like it? I think I would, but I don't know. Let's see. Either way, no matter what, like this will always have have a very special place in my heart for everything I already shared. Um, so this movie, hands down, like it'll always, it'll always have that special place in my heart. But if I were to watch this for the first time now, would I like it? I don't know. Let's find out. Sad music. Oh, it, it starts out sad. Turn it up a bit. Oh, that's right. There's sadness in this. Wendy Crewson. I bet that's uh, the mom. Oh, Quinn Culkin. Is that... um? That's probably the his sister in this. Yeah, I don't remember this opening sequence at all. Joseph Rubin. Okay. I don't know that name. Oh, okay. Baby Elisha Wood. This is fun because, like, so I definitely remember a lot of pieces of this movie and I remember how it made me feel. But there's so much. Like I said, I haven't like watched this over and over, so I don't like I don't remember any of this. Like this is this is this is fun. Oh, that guy's in this. Oh, that. It's where he knows his mom's dying. I remember. I think I remember that. How adorable he is! Look at what a good actor he is. Ugh. This is so fun seeing this now because I remember just how much of an impact his acting had on me. <sighs> Mark, Hi, I, that's his name. Why don't you take me? I'll be okay. Mom. Always be with you, Mark. Always. Make me want to tear up. I love you too, Mom. I promise you're not gonna die because I won't let you. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I didn't think I'd get emotional. Like, I remembered this, but. Earth to earth, oh. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. See, it's done so you know, well. That's an interesting place to... where they bury or, or did they do the ashes thing? Is that what that was? <sighs> I 
Uh, it's a half family watching this. I can't leave him. That's right. He has Can to go you? somewhere, and that's why he has to go stay with. I'm thinking. Uh, I can't do it. McCloy Culkin is his cousin. Like I'm still feeling emotional strange. from that. I'm your brother. We're family. Besides, it'll do him good to be around other kids right now. <laughs> Not all kids. I'll bring him to Maine myself. Maine, okay. We need to spend some time together. That seems right. I remember there's a uh, wintry. Ooh, I like the music. I don't remember the music in this. Oh. <laughs> I went all happy. I thought it was like thriller type music and then went happy, but yeah, I don't remember the music in this, so I'm I'm excited to Yeah, it's weird that I watched this. I think it was a year ago, but I really don't remember most of it. Like I mean that's because yeah, I had a killer migraine. So hey, you. Game Hello, Boy! Brother. My brother had Hello, a Game Boy and I always played here. Tetris on it. Tetris and Kirby. Have you ever ridden a Jeep with the top off? It's so fun. I have a good friend that let me drive his Jeep with the top off. It was fun. Parker. Yeah, I remember uh, there's like a beautiful cliff um, that overlooks the ocean in this. I'm so excited to watch this. Kind of has, um, the music reminds me of Steel Magnolias. I'll look it up. I hope I remember. I need to look it up after this of uh, who did the music. I recognize the house. Such an awesome looking house. There he is. <laughs> I appreciate everything you're doing. Oh, Janice would have done the same. Ah! Henry, come on down here. I remember that from, uh, here. I remember first watching this and how, after seeing the previews and how, like, the previews made me feel like, whoa, seeing him on the stairs like that was just like, oh, I remember feeling that. Oh, I'm so glad I'm Not watching this. So we could be brothers. Oh, well, as if one wasn't enough. Aw, oh, see, that looks like a nice gesture. He didn't know any better. Jack, did I tell you they tore down the old lighthouse? Oh, no, the, the one on the point? Yeah. Oh, That's where he kicks him under the table. Yeah, so did we. Yeah, they get, First in, what? They get in a kicking match. <clears throat> it's, um, <laughs> where your father and I had our first picnic. Like a little bonding moment. Now you have to get the that. Look at how little they both are. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. And it's so fun, like, because of how much this movie impacted me. I remember That's watching this fun. and they were older. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't believe I never re I didn't like rewatch this over and over because like most movies that have had an impact on me that I love like I watch it over and over because I love how it makes me feel and so I watch it over and over this one I didn't I'm leaving you now so I so I never have to leave you again two weeks could be less what a good so actor he is it's winter break all you have to do is play with Henry and you have a great time yeah I promise I'm still feeling emotional from that opening part. Which I knew that was gonna happen, so I'm surprised it still hit me, but... That was well done. So far, nothing thrilling has happened, but you know it's coming. I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are about this movie. Like, how... What are your thoughts on this movie? Was this one that you didn't care for or that just never like stayed on your radar or what was this movie to you guys i know what it was to me but Renee! 
I miss being a kid and playing with friends. I heard a quote one time that when I heard I went, oh, it's a uh, one time when you were little, you and your friends went outside to play and you didn't know it would be the last time you'd ever do that. And I'm like, that's crazy to think about because going out and playing was such a huge part of growing up. That it's weird to think there was a time that we, at some point I'm quit going outside. But I still do fast. things like climb trees and breakfast. have fun. But nothing's ever the same as when you were a kid. Did you sleep okay last night? Mark! Nice catch. Let me jump. Hit me. Afraid of heights? Oh, that's right. He has a tree house, Can't right? Talk. Look how tall it is. Oh, man. So unsafe. I'm all for kids climbing trees, but that's. I feel like that's too tall, too unsafe. Come on, it's easy. Is this the part? If I let you go, do you think you could fly? That's kind of a cool shot. If I let you go, do you think you could fly? I remember how that made me feel. God, that made me feel so thrilled when I when I would see that in previews. It was like Look how adorable they are. They're so little. Hey Henry, grenade! What the hell's going on here? That made me jump. That'd be a beautiful place to live. It'd be a beautiful place to grow up. Hey, wait up, Henry. Wonder where they're running to. Oh, this movie's so happy. Like the music sounds so happy. I don't remember this music. Did you see your mom after she was dead? I wanted to. See, people don't like to talk about death. So that's why I have to investigate. Scientific. It doesn't feel like that. Kind of pale. I took a real good look when my kid brother Richard drowned in the bathtub. Your brother drowned? He was completely blue. That. You should have looked at her eyes and her lips. And touch her skin to see what it felt I like. I remember first Hot. watching it and being shut like... Shut up about my mom. Hey, don't get mad. I'm just trying to be scientific. Just shut up or I'll hit you. Try it. I'll throw you down there. But yeah, that was our first, um, maybe like the first, like, feeling like something's <laughs> really scary. I know, kind of <laughs> off. Hey, Henry. What? Today was fun. Tomorrow will be even better. I remember that. I'm thinking, like, what's he got in store for tomorrow? I don't remember what his first uh, shenanigans is. Really cool? Oh, this is the uh, nah, bridge with the dog. I remember the shot he like gets in his face. <laughs> I remember watching that and just feeling how like that just felt off to me. I love that dog. I can't remember if he kills it or not. Come on, I want to show you my new invention. His invention. What it is. Oh, I forgot how much sadness this movie has. My main thoughts, my main memories with this movie is it just being a thriller, but... Watching it now, it's like, there's a lot of sadness I forgot about. Yeah, I don't even remember this, like, from watching it last year, I don't really remember. Yeah, like going? I said. I didn't. It's my shed. Shed. He has a crossbow. Is that what he's about to show him? 
monster over there. I think he does kill the dog. Grab a bolt. Go ahead. Lock and load. Line up kitty cat. Don't hit her. I don't think he kills the cat. Okay. Like, I don't think he does. I think he kills the dog, though. I think. What a great shot! Yeah. But the sight's not right yet. Look at that shot. Ah! God, I remember how much this movie hit me. This is so fun. I don't think it would have, like, the same impact if I watched it now. I'm so grateful I watched it when I did, how it affected me at that time. Most of my patients. I can. He's so little. I have to. You. Look at that shot. You came back. Look at that shot. I knew he'd come back. Oh, sweet. See why I admired him so much? I mean, I, to this day, I still admire him as an actor. But look, as a kid, look at what a good actor he is. This shot. Right here. Henry's up there being jealous. I know you miss her. That music. A good creepy shot. It's okay. Ugh, static. Ugh, static's interfering during a good shot. Oh, we got a blackout transition. Interesting. Okay, unplug my earbuds and plug them back in because I get static every so often. Hey, you got it. All right. No, he's yeah. a sweet kid. Yeah. There's so much happy music. Like we got sad music and cheerful music. It's so funny how I remember this. I remember this being like mainly thriller, Status. and like so much of it is sadder. System Norman ready. Feels so family friendly. But it's... Mm, try to hit that sign. This is where he shoots the Negative. dog. This is where he shoots the dog. Try to hit that light. Negative. I don't hundred percent remember, but Targeting. I'm. I'm pretty sure. This is where he kills the dog. What are you doing? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it cry. No. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the dog cry. God. Look how evil he looks. Oh, what a good shot. This movie has lots of good shots. Look at that. I love that shot. Look at that. Oh, and then he comes into the frame. That, that's a good shot. Look at that. That's a good shot. I was only trying to scare him. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's beautiful there. That shot and the, the music right there, that was, that was well done. Oh, and the, the waves thrashing in the background. This is a good shot. I, I think I would still like this movie. If I had never seen it and I watched it for the first time now, I think I would like it. Because I'm really enjoying these shots. And the acting. I mean, Macaulay Culkin's acting. At least as a kid. I didn't really watch a lot of his stuff when he was older. But, uh... He has that kind of, like, deadpan sound to his... When he talks. When, his, when he says his lines. But... I like it. Like, I, especially for this, like, there's something, I just, I like it like for that. And Elijah Wood is perfect for this role. So. Like I like it. Person. I love the casting of this. Hi, Henry. Mark, I have something to show you in the shed. What's he going to show him now? Whatever. Go ahead. I'll put these away, okay? Poor Mark. You can feel the turmoil. Ah, oh, I love that house. You don't think I do a thing like that on purpose, now, do you? So what do you want to show me? I want you to meet somebody. Somebody very special. Mr. Highway Man? Mr. The Hi Mr. Highway? Who is he? <sighs> Mr. Highway. Mr. Highway. Wow. Uh, what are you going to do with him? It depends. On what? On you. So you. Know, you'll help me. Help you? I promise you something amazing. 
and then you'll never forget. Remember that line? Are you in? Promise you something amazing, something you'll never forget. Keeps his promise on that. Ugh. I remember watching this and just feeling the thrill of like, what, what's going on? What, what is this? And you know he's sinister. Even though Where I certainly, I would have known what the word sinister was. So I would have term, but. I'm up here. Okay. It's all part of his wicked plan. Come on, Mr. Highway. Take a look. 